you ever feel like an imposter? Hey, welcome back. Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. Hope your week's going well and everything's lined up so that you can have a successful week. So today I had an opportunity to sit down with one of my clients and he was talking about a situation that was frustrating to him because he had some things happen within his business, 100% out of his control, but it had a negative impact on some of the projects he was working on. And he was nervous on how that was gonna reflect and impact other parts of his business and his relationships with clients and whatnot. And I had the opportunity to talk to him about one the one thing that we talk about often is focusing on the things that you can control because the things that happened to him were not in his control they turned out that they weren't good but there's nothing he could do about it and as he focuses on the things that he can control and focuses on what he's doing going forward he's going to have a lot more success but i ended up sharing a story with him about myself and you know i've i've talked a lot about my different businesses and stuff that i've had but i i'll explain a little bit how it's impacted me at my core so i started my manufacturing company in 2005. we had a lot of up and downs in that company we had a lot of success we had a lot of failures we had a lot of experiences that really got me to the point that made me want to be a coach because of the experiences I had, I knew I could help a lot of people. I knew the experiences I had would be beneficial to other industries, other entrepreneurs, all of those things. And that really had an impact on me getting into the coaching part of things. But you know what? I started the coaching and we were still running the business, had some incredible people I was working with and things were moving along. But this past year, as I've talked about, we ended up shutting that company down. And as we did that, I started having my own limiting beliefs. I, I started to have my own self doubts. You know, how can I have a company that is going through a hard time that we're gonna have to shut down that's failing. And here I am trying to coach people on having successful businesses. And I had to have those own conversations with myself about what are the things I can control? What are the things I can't control? And how do I overcome my own limiting beliefs? It's easy to talk to people about it. It's harder to be the person. And, you know, I've talked about that in other times I've talked about failure is as a coach, you know, we talk about the lessons learned from failure and the growth that you can come from it, but it doesn't change the fact when you're the one failing, it sucks. It's hard. There's a lot of hard things about failure that are especially right during the time are really difficult and you've got to learn how to deal with those things. And so that was a really difficult time for me is understanding how do I continue to push forward and be a coach and tell people I can help them, but at the same time say, I just had a business fail. Well, the fact is that doesn't take away anything. It, in fact, it, it adds some legitimacy to me because I've been through all the ups and downs, but <clears throat> again, it's, Focusing on the things that you can control. Learning from the things that you can't. Learning from the things that don't go right. But it also helps you to realize that, you know, regardless what happens, we've been talking about taking action all week. We've been talking about your commitment to yourself. And that's what it came down to is, yeah, I was going through that. It was a hard thing to go through, but I had to still take action and do the things I needed to make sure that I was helping my clients who were in other situations where the experiences I was going through actually was a benefit I could help them with because of those experiences. So when you feel like you're an imposter because things aren't going right, really take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Look at the big picture of what you are doing, what you're capable of and what you can control, what you have an impact on and how you can take control of that situation. Because a lot of times that imposter syndrome is coming because you're out of your comfort zone. And we've talked about it already this week in other episodes, being out of your comfort zone is a great thing because that expands your comfort zone. Failure, it sucks. 
but the next time you fail, it's actually that much easier because you've been there and you know how to control the things that you can. All right, share this with someone that's going through a tough time. Share this with someone that feels like they're going through a situation where they've got imposter syndrome. And you know what, if, if you're that person, send me a DM, let's talk about things. Maybe I can help you out. I've been there, have done that. And there's things you need to focus on. But thanks again for being with me. I'll be back tomorrow.